All right, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is how to actually upload your EDS file if you have a problem like I'm having right now. Um, say for instance, you, you go to replace a drive and this is going to be an instance of a PowerFlex 525. Um, but if, let's just say you, you go to replace a drive, you get a newer drive and then all of a sudden you set the IP address up and you go to look for conductivity in your RS links where you used to have good conductivity and then you have a question mark. Okay, so this just means that there's a newer firmware on that specific drive. That's all that means. And, you know, Rockwell's always making new revisions and new things. So as, as the, the drives and, and components and chips get better, what they're doing is obviously, you know, having to, having to change their firmware. So when you get something new and you've, you've obviously replaced it with, with an old, you know, like a, you're replacing an old drive with a new drive, you're going to have something like this, right? You're going to run into this. So you can right click and you can upload to EDS file. Now, in some instances though, this is not going to work, right? So now in, in 90% of the time, the upload to EDS file does, does work perfectly fine. But as you see, I have a PowerFlex 525 one horsepower. Now I'm going to go to the internet real quick and we'll just drop this down and go to uh, rockwell.com and then you want to go to just in case you didn't see that go to downloads and then we're going to type in uh, powerflex 525 okay so we'll just type in powerflex 525 we'll click that now what this is going to do is all downloads is what you want to you want to click on and then you can go to eds files right so this applies to all, this applies to EDS files and this is all. So you can get the EDS files right here um, and you can do multi, multi-family right here. So you can get, go all the way up to 7.1. So let's go ahead and add this one to cart. Um, and I choose to go multi-family and the reason I choose to do that is again, it has multiple things instead of just like single things. Um, you could probably get by with this very top one right here, but let's just for the sake of what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and download this and then we're going to click OK. Let's see. It looks like your session might have, have expired. It wants me to sign in. While I sign in, I'm going to go, well, go ahead and, and, and just, you know, I stop the video. So now I'm going to download. So again, this is still using the same EDS file, um, our same select the file selection that we used i'm going to hit accept it's going to start downloading here and we can go to the folder and then we just we're using the uh, automatic download feature that they have so what you do is you you open this up wait till it finishes it finishes obviously the download you, it opens up to the section now this file location is is going to be c drive uh, rockwell or ra now we have to, in my case, I have to look for it, right? Um, so I'm looking for the EDS file. Let's see, EDS file. And I'm probably gonna pass it. Uh, there we go, right here. So I wanna look, well actually, this is it. I wanna look for the date, okay? So I wanna look for the date. And then I just copy that, and then I go back on my VM where I was, and I paste that on there. Now, in this, focus I want to go ahead and unzip this right so I want to basically extract files here oh, let's just extract here make it easier or it's actually to a folder um, okay so then we're gonna go over to our uh, make sure we have the folder let's see this is going to be there the EDS files right here so I like to put them together so that I know that, that, that it actually did the task that it was supposed to do. And you can see that in here. Um, so then you'll see all the EDS files. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually upload using RS links for that. So again, we're gonna come back to our software, which is the Rockwell software right here. We're gonna go to RS links. We're gonna go to tools and we're gonna go to hard, um, EDS hardware installation tool. Okay, so this is what what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna add right, and then you're gonna come over here and register a directory of devices descriptions and look into sub. 
So you want to look into the subfolders is because that way it looks at everything that's encapsulated inside of that folder. And then we want to point to the point uh, where we put our EDS file. So it's going to, it's going to, if I, if I check this box right here, that says look in subfolders, it's going to look in everything that's encapsulated in this folder. Okay. So just so you know that, and now we're going to hit next and it's uploading all the EDS files that were inside of that folder. Now, depending upon how big that is, that could take a little bit, but again, when it comes down to it, what your goal is, is to, up to upload your RS links. Now you could have went to a different version of RS links, but again, when it comes down to it, if you're in the point of our position where you're just changing a drive out, right? You're just, you've changed a drive out from an old drive to a new drive and you need to, you know, go ahead and make sure that the complete setup is done. But the very first thing you're doing is verifying that the IP address is set properly then, and you see a question mark. Well, okay, this is what you need to do, right? Um, you, you can easily, sometimes most of the cases, you can actually upload from the EDS file, just like I showed, or some cases in rare instances, you have to go to the website and get the EDS file. Now we're going to the ED, we went to the website to get the EDS file. We can see every one of these that it gave us. Okay. Now we're going to click next. It's going to have all these EDS files. Okay. Then we're going to click next. And now it's going to transfer those EDS files to RS links. Now that's every one of those. So it's the complete family of what they have right now. So this is the reason why it like going to the website, you can, you can kind of get the most, I guess, up to date if you would. Um, now that doesn't mean that a new drive won't come out and they might not have it. Right. So let's just go ahead and say that, but now let's go over here and see our, look at our driver and our, the RS links driver. And we do have the ability to see that drive now because we uploaded the EDS file. So now we can go to module configuration, verify that our IP address is set properly, verify that, you know, however we have the, if we want to set the gateway, the, you know, um, IP address obviously is important. Uh, the network sub, uh, the network sub, uh, subnet, I should say, uh, they call it a network mask is the subnet of what you're doing. So basically I'm using a 192.168.131 and the network mask, which again is the subnet, um, again, 255 because we're using the complete number up here, 255 because we're using the complete number up here, 255 because we're using, we're, that means the exact match needs to happen. And then zero for here, because the static of whatever we want to look at, we want to leave that back in open. If we wanted to extend this for even further, we could change that to a 254 and that would give us another, you know, a hundred octets up and down. Um, so with that said, now that's how you would go about it. And that's how you would, if you run into this problem, right? Cause again, there are rare instances where you do that. Like you've changed a drive out, you you know, you had a drive failure, a new one came in, maybe it got hot rushed in, or maybe it was just sitting on the shelf and you had it. But it was a newer revision, right? It was a new firm, newer firmware. And you had the question mark and you, you need to go through the process. 90% of the time you're going to be able to go and right click and upload the EDS file. Now, if that does fail, you're going to, sadly, you're going to have to go to the website and you're going to have to download the actual EDS file from the website and then upload it just like I had showed in this video. So hopefully this helped and shown how to, you know, go about this if you are running into this problem. Because again, when I'm making these videos, I'm doing these instances of stuff that I've ran into in the past that I know that will we will run into again that could possibly and will help you. So um, just in case, you know, you want to see anything or you want to see anything differently um, or maybe there, this, this helped out, but you ran into a different problem. You know, I'm always here for feedback. I'm always here to try to help and, and see if I can't answer the question. I am not affiliated whatsoever with Rockwell at, at all, but I do try to make videos supporting that because I do interface and I have used the software for many, many, many years. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.